Hello. In this episode, I wanted to show you what we do next after the inverter is started for the first time when the inverter is already feeding energy into the power grid. We still need to configure the Wi-Fi logger so that we can monitor the photovoltaic installation via a mobile phone from anywhere. Before we go to the configuration on the mobile phone, let's pay attention to this sticker. It was mentioned in another episode about unpacking the inverter and the contents of the shipment. The sticker provides information, data matrix that we will scan, serial number, the number of the Wi-Fi logger and P PWD, the password of the Wi-Fi network. Let's see what we have to do on the mobile phone. Once we have the Sofal Solar Inverter running, we can proceed to configure the logger and connect in to the Solar Man application, which is used for remote monitoring of photovoltaic installation. First, turn on the Wi-Fi network on the phone and look for the signal that, that the Wi-Fi logger broadcasts. The name of the signal begins with the letter AP and then we have the number that matches the number on the label in the serial number section. We log into this Wi-Fi network using the password from the sticker. We'll find it the PWD section. We connect to the Wi-Fi logger access point. We can see that this network has no internet connection. It is appropriate and natural because we connect to the inverter, not our internet access point. Next, we go to his website on 10.10.100.254. We should be close to the inverter to ensure a strong signal. Before this step, let's turn off cellular data transmission on the phone so that the browser does not look for this address on the internet. The logger page appears. Log in here with the admin user and the password admin. This is the starting password that can be found in the logger manual. What do we have here? On the left side we have a menu. We have to go through at the wizard to set the necessary operating parameters. Press the refresh button. We will get available Wi-Fi networks, including our network with the internet. We choose our home network from the list. We leave the inscription method and algorithm unchanged. In the next step, we enter the password for the selected Wi-Fi network with the internet. The option to enable automatic address retrieval from DHCP server is selected. In the most common situation, this setting is appropriate. We go through the steps without making any changes. At the end, we get a message that full configuration is complete. At this point, the logger resets and starts initialization with new parameters. Therefore, our mobile phone will be disconnected from the logger Wi-Fi network, the connection may return again or another manual connection to the logger Wi-Fi network will be required. Let's take a look at what we have here to make it all clear. We have the status, serial number, inverter number, current operating parameters, in the device information section, we can see that both logger operation modes are enabled. Both a station connected to our Wi-Fi network with the internet, STA mode, and access point mode, AP mode. 
it is worth leaving the setting like this because in the future we can log in to the logger in AP mode. There may be a need if we want to change something. Other important settings. Remote servers. We can set here to send data about the monitored installation to two remote servers. Server A is online. This is the default cloud server of, for SolarMan applications. Let's not change it. Server B is not connected. We can use this connection for our own solutions or other hosting services that are available on the internet and are becoming more and more popular. We are talking about some communities, topics related to energy trading, etc. The home user usually do not use this option. These settings are available from the advanced menu. This is probably all. Software updates, if we have no problems, I do not recommend it. Then we can switch to our Wi-Fi router with the internet. We can also re-enable cellular data transmissions. We download the SolarMan application from Google Play or Apple Store sequentially depending on whether you are, we are using an Android or e iOS phone. Two applications are available, SolarMan and SolarMan Pro or SolarMan Business App. Both have similar functionality. The SolarMan application is intended for the end user while the SolarMan Pro application is intended for the installer. In this way, the installer can create an installation profile for the end user by knowing his um, email address. The installer can also monitor all build installation, providing services or remotely diagnosing problems irregular irregularities. The profile creation by the installer or the end user himself is the same. First. After starting the application, create a free account by entering your email address and then create a profile of the photovoltaic installation for this account. When creating an installation profile, we provide the address, azimuth, angle of inclination, power and the like, which are mostly, mostly optional. Let's see the SolarMan application. Press plus to add an installation. We select the, the I have an installer option when we want to add an installation prepared by the installer. Or we select the I don't have an installer option when we create an installation profile from scratch. Successively, we scan the data matrix coded from the logger sticker. Maybe it's worth turning on the flashing on the phone. Here we have this logger already added, so the application did not create a new installation. We can now monitor the installation. There are installation data in this intro section. The summary tab provides ongoing monitoring of work, daily, monthly, annual, total. In the device tab, you will find our logger and inverter. By choosing an inverter, we get a preview of current and historical data. The data applies to each DC and AC circuit. In the historical data, we have an additional view of the internal parameters of the inverter. This allows for in-deep analysis and diagnosis in problematic situations, should, this arise, should they arise. This is what the SolarMan application looks like. The SolarMan Pro application, on the other hand, is very similar, plus the functionality of many installations. There is an extra icon on the top left, Install. We also add a new installation via the scan command. We have already added this installation, so the scan will bring it up. That's basically it. The monitoring is the same. Some additional options are available, for example, by viewing the event list of multiple installations, we can create a maintenance orders and so on. That's all for this episode. Thank you for your attention and invite you to our store on shop.saninhouse.eu.
We will find here not only photovoltaic inverters, but a number of articles used in modern zero emission smart homes at the best prices. Better house, better life.